friends, in today's video, I'm going to share the third secret that's going to help prepare you to be able to do food delivery next year. Time's ticking. It's almost the end of the year, so let's get started. Before I reveal that third secret, what's the allure of gig work? It's being on your own, not having a boss. But is that really true? Do you have a boss? Actually, you do. And that leads into this third secret customer service. The customer is absolutely your boss, whether you realize it or not. So in this video, I'm going to cover the three levels of customer service. I'm also going to share why this matters. There's a couple reasons, both in the app and for you personally to make tips. So although no one likes to really have a boss, unless they're really awesome, the customer can be a really good boss for you or a really bad one. The first level of customer service is the absolute bare minimum, and that's called building trust with the customer. You are bringing something that they're going to consume, either themselves or for their family. And so this makes sense. You want to make sure that they're not afraid that you're doing anything wrong whatsoever to their food because they're going to consume it. And again, this is the bare minimum building trust. If you just build trust, then congratulations, you're not gonna get fired, but that doesn't mean you're gonna be successful. The next level of customer service is a medium level, and this is just gonna help you get some tips. Smile and be friendly and talk to the customer. Ask them how their day's going. If you're dropping off near their business or home, just create some small talk because what this does is help that customer your boss see you as a valuable worker and a fellow human being. And that'll soften their heart if they know that you're cheerful and, and pleased to help them. Maybe they'll give you a tip or maybe they'll increase your tip. It definitely can't hurt. The opposite extreme would be as if you are boring or angry looking or you're dressed nasty or you're not very clean. They're going to want to get rid of you as quickly as possible. And then you're getting into the breaching the trust again with the customer. And this is something easily within your control. Just practice. Smile. Everybody looks more happy and cheerful when you're smiling. And frequently, customers ask how you're doing. And you could take this time to share a little background on yourself or give some insights into what makes you so happy to be a food delivery driver. And again, you're not doing this just to get tips. You're just trying to bridge that gap between you as the food delivery driver and them as the customer, also known as your boss. The final and ultimate level of customer service is treating the customer just like yourself. If you see they're having trouble with something, ask if you can help. If the order's heavy, could I place it somewhere? Many times if people are disabled, they're already going to give you a really good tip. And especially if you're eager to bring it in their house or set something somewhere that they ask, just do it because you're helping them. And that's probably the whole reason they're ordering food delivery like that is because they need your help. So don't be like, I would say, a few drivers that just drop it off at the door and disappear. You're losing out on a chance of building that connection with the customer. And then of course, anytime that you're interacting with the customer, use your verbal skills, practice quite a bit with this and talk about what's going on with their day. And you may be surprised, they may share some insights into their life and you can at least listen. Do you know that it feels so much better if someone just listens to you and you can talk through your issues with them? Well, the same thing for the customer. So be available to listen to them and also physically help them. And especially for grocery shopping and food delivery, practice your writing skills. You can already have a bunch of messages saved up depending on the situation that'll save you time. And I do want to mention the iPhone is the easiest way to do this. You can go into keyboard shortcuts and have a little code and it would automatically put a message there. So I'll share a couple messages in the video description that I use. When you're performing at the highest levels of customer service, your job doesn't seem horrible because you're actually going out with the mindset knowing that you're helping customers. So again, the bottom level is just building trust. That's the minimum not to get deactivated. Next level is smile, be happy, ask how their day is going. And then the ultimate is physically help people and also be overjoyed to help them and talk to them. And 
Who knows? Maybe something tremendous will come from this. It's called networking. And that is definitely the highest level of communication and service to the boss, your customer. Having any level of customer service skills is very important. You always want to ask the customer to rate you in the app. And the reason is because it only takes one person to complain. And if you don't already have a ton of good reviews, then the gig app company doesn't know if you actually are a good worker or not. So help yourself. You're already doing all the work of having good customer service skills. So just ask the customer to rate you. And many of them do. So don't be surprised. Eventually you will get a bad rating. And that could be for your own fault. Or more often it's because the restaurant didn't do something. They can't blame the restaurant. And so they take out their frustration on you. So again, if you have a high bank of good reviews, that's going to offset the few bad reviews that you do get. Another great benefit of customer service skills, you're generally going to have repeat customers and you're going to recognize them by their name or their address. And if you're always friendly and helpful, that helps shorten the time that they remember, oh yes, that's Russ, I remember him and I tipped him really well last time. I'm going to tip him well again. So don't discount this. You will come across repeat customers. Why not just go ahead and set yourself up for success for that next interaction? I am so excited to be able to share these customer service tips. Get out there and help that customer. But whoa, wait, how do you actually deliver food? Well, guess what? In this next video, I go through step by step of how to do food delivery and how to keep you safe and profitable. So I look forward to seeing you there and in the comments below.